Hi, my name is Oinda and um, welcome to my space. So, what have I been up to? So currently, over the past few months, I've been learning um, data analytics, skill set including Tableau, Power BI for database, database, data visualization. I actually enjoy analyzing figures on my sales job. So, um, <clears throat> so this is actually what made me, you know, have this year to be able to picturize data. Now, one thing about data is everybody has their own point of view on how things should be done. So, this is actually a data set gotten from Sample Superstore, which is um, a data set on Tableau. So, I played around with it. Let me see what visualizations I could come up with. So, here I am. So, let's go together so that I can share what I have done. Okay. Now, data set actually came from the data source. And data source is where we normally upload all the data onto Tableau. Uh, Tableau can actually visualize a huge set of data. Um, it actually can take in more data than um, Excel. And the funny thing, you can actually merge quite a number of tables together to be able to give um, a visualization. So as I said, this sample Superstore, the data set I got from Tableau, and this um, the Superstore had the orders or all the orders that happened in the past few years. The people, these are actually the salespeople, and the other one is the returns. So yes, um, you can see for returns, with the sales returns, you know those kind of returns we do when the customer does not really want the product and they send it back. So let's go to the order table. Okay, you can see the order table. We have all the data. We have um, order ID, order date, shipping date, ship mode, customer name. I could actually move this a bit. You can see the segment and um, country it was shipped from. Another beautiful thing we can actually see here. Let's see. Um, we have the people. So we see that this actually has 10,000 rows. So it's quite a lot of data. So next one, we have people. That's just the salespeople, what they have done and returned. So now we're going to um, see what I did with all these data sets. Um, basically, there are lots of sheets um, in Tableau. You can actually do a lot of sheets and put all the sheets together to become a dashboard. So what I've done here is I, I have how many? One, two, three, four, five. I have five dashboards which can build up to my um, story, um, which is my sales review. So all these dashboards turn up to the story. But before we go to the story, I'd like to give a background of each of the dashboards. So this very first dashboard is my product review. Uh, let me just do something here and show the table. Oh. So this is my product review. For the product review, I can see that um, per category, the top, which products are actually making us lose money, which, which products are actually giving us the most profit, the contribution of the profitability of each SKU, and which products are being returned back to the warehouse. So, you know, returns is cost money because you have to actually, you know, pay for the uh, logistics and handling back from the warehouse, from, from, the, from the customer and back to the warehouse, and sometimes back to the owner of the product in the first instance, if this was um, an e-commerce firm. So let's go straight to it. Here, my shiny star technology, followed by furniture and office supplies. So you might be asked wondering, so why is, so what's happening here? And what's happening here? So I put a filter on each of these SKUs, but for me, for each of these categories, I mean, for me to know um, what, who is who's actually making me lose money and who's actually making money for me. So I'll start with office supplies. Office supplies is not making me lose money. I actually have I have one of my top five profit and profit and products here, and it's giving me seven k in profitability. Wow, wow! And that is um, the electric punch plastic home binding machine. So, but I have a high number of returns for office supplies. So it should be nice to know what what products are being returned. So if I don't want those products, I can maybe they are faulty or maybe they don't make this recommendation. So this can easily be listed, so that will not be wasting money and wasting people's time. So we could go to furniture. We see furniture. The profit they're giving us is small. Returns are really high. And I'm really there. I could decide why we're wasting our time on furniture. Maybe we should forget about furniture as a category. Then tech. Technology is giving me. I have trade losers there. And one, two, three, four. Four winners. High returns also. So I wonder, I want to ask, why do we have so many returns in technology? If it's giving us so much Just to explain what this dashboard uh, actually does. So, it's back to normal. 
So we'll go to the business review. Let's give this a title. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. see. But okay. For the city print, I would like to see here that look. Generally, there's still spaces here. It means my people are not supplying to here. So if I want to, but I look at it again. We seem to be doing very well on the coastline. Do very well here. I see I have a few outliers here. Yeah? We went to Canada, I did. So if I want to look at the geography of my products, I could actually use this. This is actually explains what the what this this light and maybe just one. Okay, it's one side by five. And where the, the darker the grain, the more we sell there. So that's what this sell what this does. So what I've done here is we have the consumers, if you have to use that as our open market sales, which contributes 46, corporate, it contributes 32, then home office, if it does sell from the office, it does 21%. So I can easily see here that if I want to grow an aspect of the business, I could decide, okay, this is what home office does. I lose money from the office in April, but the sales is high. I want to keep this. So but let's go back. We're not yet there. So it just shows you that what happens in corporate is what happens in the sales. Okay, this is it. You can see that in February I make the least profit. And this is exactly about profitability, not really about sales. Because without profit, your company cannot survive. So businesses need to be profitable. Okay, here, yeah, let's see. Consumers too. So that means what are they doing in home office that are losing money? So this is something to look at. This is a red flag for me. So yeah, this is one that like okay. Well, this is the kind of uh, shipping we have. We have the first class, we have second class, we have same day, and we have standard. So if I like, I can decide that okay. Um, if second class and same day are doing actually the same thing, do I want to merge them, or is everybody doing something equal? So okay, so let's see. So first class gives us the highest profit, and all three decide to give us relatively the same. So where does standard class go to? So it's all relatively the same. So that means wait a minute, sorry, red. Same day delivery. I lost a lot of money in same day delivery in November. But the sales was also high. So this I can have a look what's going on here. What do I need to do? So this is just more or less like gives me an idea of the business overview in the snapshot. His biggest loss is 9,000, which was he sold the QB5 head print, and he also lost 143. So, this gives me a spread of what they have been losing. So, on an average, he's losing $500. That's what he does. Here, too, you can see that Fred, biggest, biggest. to compare to sales this scale what are you selling what what, what are you selling are you losing money so also look at this too um the revenue so my highest gainers chuck has made 10k on the last sale which is interesting so if you see the telephone which is lost really. so looking at this i can see that even Roxanne, there's something wrong with Roxanne. If Roxanne is losing too much money. So we can move on. I have customer overview. Here yeah, I decided I want to look at what's going on. Where are my, where are my top five cities? 
So I can say that New York, Los Angeles, Seattle, San Francisco, and Philadelphia. But I also know that selling the law does not mean that you're making profit, right? So look at Philadelphia, they are cost money. So means that we need to find to correct this because they're giving us our top revenues, but we can't be losing money in our top um, general revenue generating cities. Now, in our customers, okay, the orders that were raised, which were what was the biggest orders, what were the biggest tickets? We had five. Uh, Sean Miller had 23,000. That was the biggest, the biggest cost ever, biggest order ever, because of that moment he was, was the best. I just want to say what was the biggest order, how much money did you make from them? Tamara, Raymond, and uh, Tom Ashbrook. If you look at here, yeah, everybody seems to be selling buying technology. The technology as a category is very strong. We have slight office of parents and then you just want us to do furniture and we'll just want 740. So this can give us nice okay, what should we really be focusing on? You look at this here. Remember Sean day 23? He still has sales here because okay, so trying as, as a top five customers now. Everything there was 25. We know that. But the profit we made from Sean is we have to lost money for selling to Sean. So this is something to look at. So if I want to give uh, um, awards or bonuses. I don't think I'm going to be shown anything because we're not really making profit from it. Look at it. So I would believe that my best customers, best of course, have been pushed up. This point here. Come on. To the end. So that's my top five. So again, I have So this is um, the shipping mode. The shipping mode here, we have um, standard, second class, first class. We saw that the other one was same day delivery. So first day, okay. Do everybody has the um, same profitability margin? People prefer to do the standard class, then by the second, then by first, and then by that. So what we could actually see here. Sorry about that. So standard has the highest. So we can actually see total sales according to SKUs. But I could just use this to have an overview of what goes on. So explain all the dashboards. Now we can go to the sales review. So this is the sales review. Uh, let me make sure everything is okay. Oh, there. Right. So I will now go to my presentation mode. And this is our beautiful story. So this summarizes the whole dashboard we've been going through. As I explained earlier, we can see our products this background to our category and users. What's going on? According to the furniture, this actually has filters, so I can see top winners, top gainers. Same thing here. Same thing here. Go to my business review. This is a filter. And what goes on? If I want to see my consumers. First class, it gives me a good look. 